Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a crucial topic for SQL Server DBAs. That's how to create an audit in SQL Server using the Server Management Studio or the SSMS. Okay, so we are going to use the GUI method, which is the graphical user interface method. So auditing is essential for tracking database activities and ensuring security compliance. So let's get started. To start with, what we are going to do first of all is to connect our instance. So I'll click on connect here, then connect to my instance. Once I'm connected to my instance, the next thing I need to do here is to create my audit under the server level. So to create my audit under the server level, I need to expand the security folder here and then you can see audit so that's the first thing we need to do i'll right click and click on new audit right so i have my general page here so i need to select a name for my audit i need to give it a name so you have to give it a meaningful name so let me say let me just give it audit okay so you can just give it a name so here let's look at on audit log failure so you can continue or when it fails fail operation or shutdown server here we can look at the destination so you can click on this drop down to see the options you have security log or application log let's leave it on file and then now we need to specify the file path so i'll click here i've already created a folder on my c drive called sql audit so i'll select it and click on ok so this is where my audit logs will be stored now you can also decide to configure the audit file maximum rollover files maximum you can select this and then it gives you the option to change the number here or also you can uncheck this and then you can put in your own maximum file size whether in megabytes gigabytes or terabyte for the purpose of this exercise we'll leave it as it is okay so now you have to verify if everything is okay and then you click on okay now let's refresh our audit now you realize our audit has been created and it is not yet enabled so now the next thing we need to do is to go to our database level and create our audit specification so we select our database which is demo db we expand it under the security folder you see database audit specification so you right click on it and then you click on new database audit specification right so we have our general window open so now you can see what we have here now you have to select a name for your audit so i'll say this is name of the database demo db audit so you can give it a name that will match and then here audit so you need to select the audit we created under the server level so you have to click on this so we select it here audit that's where the logs will be stored so now let's select the audit action type click on this drop down menu and then you have various options here okay that's the action that you can monitor here so let's do a delete let's monitor our delete when there is a delete we will be able to monitor it and see who deleted it so let's click on delete now we have object class object schema object name so i'll click on this and then put in the name of my database demo db check name it is there so i click on ok now you can see the object class is a database it doesn't have a schema so i have my object name and then you can decide to put in the principal owner here so i can say maybe db owner so let me search for the name owner so i have db owner i'll select and then click on ok ok so now you have to check if everything is okay for you and then you click on 
okay now our audit specification has been created under the database level and then we have our audit also created under the server level so what we need to do here is to right click and enable our audit don't forget to do that and then also under our database level we right click and enable our audit so now any delete action that will be taken on this on this database will be recorded now let's try and verify it now let me expand my database expand my tables and then let's see the contents of the table so let's start so this is the table i have and i have this data in it let's try to delete so i'll say delete from this table dbo.customer so let's specify where Okay, let me go to columns where customer ID where customer ID equals one. So let's try to delete this from our database from our table. So it's been deleted. Let's see if it's been deleted here. So let me click on this execute. You can see we don't have that data anymore now. Let's check our audit if it has been logged. So to do that, under our server level, we need to right click on our audit and then go to view audit logs to see what happened. So I'll click on it and then you can see it here. At this time, you have this the instance name action id you can see this is a delete so the table the class type is a table so you can see sequence number succeeded true so you can go through it and you will see what happened you can see the session id the principal server id database id target principal id so you have all the information here, session, server, principal name, you can have cluster admin. So you have the database principal name, DBO. So you have all the information here, the database name, the schema, object name. You have the statement that was, so you can see delete from DBO customer worker. So you have the query that was run. And then also you can see everything down here. You can see everything down here you can see what happened okay so it helps you to monitor right so and that's it you've successfully created and enabled your audit in sql server using ssms i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more SQL Server tips and tricks. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.